Hi, I'm Tim Zorowski. Today we're going to be exploring the Blend tool in CorelDRAW 2021. I have two shapes up here and obviously two different colors. So hit the letter C and that'll make them in alignment. Make sure they're both selected. Go to Effects blend and here you can select how many iterations or copies you want to blend the two images together. So let's go with 20 to start with so you can see how, how the effects of that and how jagged it's going to be. Make sure you have direct blend selected We'll get to the other colorization wheels later. And with 20 iterations or 20 duplicates, we're going to hit apply. And you're going to see what that looks like. And that's not bad if you look. It's, it has sort of a jaggy edge. Maybe it's because that was a square to begin with. Let's undo that. And um, we'll copy this. We'll try this with a, uh, there we go, and we're going to give this a different, we'll give it that same green, so double click, you see this little eyedropper, you can click on anything in your, on your screen there, and that turns it to that color, if you didn't know that, it's pretty, pretty cool, alright, so, C will align that for me and again with 20 and the first one the first color blend is direct blend selected hit apply and that's not bad you can see it still has let's zoom in a little you can see it still has quite a quite a bit of uh, detail that you can see so it's not as smooth as you know, I have I have a scroll mouse so that's why it's easy for me to do alright so let's do undo that this time we're gonna go up here we're gonna get 200 copies the number of steps in the blend is how they how they describe it and now we'll hit apply and that is much smoother. So we'll zoom in here. Look at the transition there. Isn't that nice and smooth? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you can do that with any shape. Now going forward, there are uh, there are a lot of different options here. It, for instance, if you click on just the very top image. change that Let's go with something totally different there we go and look what that just did to your uh, to your color so I'm going to do control Z and come back to that now the other thing you can do if you if you uh, select the just the top or bottom image you can move it and that moves everything for you now there's also if you double click on the image you you get this line let me show you what happens when you <laughs> when you do when you can adjust it it just adjusts excuse me it adjusts everything so you can go back and you don't like your colors. You get real, real creative. Now the other thing you can do is I get to it. There we go. I selected that bottom again, and this time it just changed everything, didn't it? I could take that and adjust that 
just that. Try to collect, try to select that. Hmm. There it is. For some reason, I couldn't select it. There it is. I think that's the one. So let's um, move it over here. Let's change the color. Go to red. That'll work. Interesting, huh? Okay. So we could play with that, but I'm going to let you do that on your own time. So we will just move this out of the way. We'll go back to our, well, I guess we started with the, uh, the circle, didn't we? So let's just do that. We'll duplicate that. Come up here, make it smaller, just in staying with what we were doing. We'll see, and that aligns that. Select that. Change our color. Get the color picker. Start off with that green again. All right. Now, there are our two images, and that's, we're going to go with 200, and I'm going to show you color blend, but before that, we're going to change the color of this particular circle. So I'm going to click on that circle, go to color, I've already selected this off screen, but I like this color. And this has to do with the colors on a color wheel. So with these two selected, I'm going to make a du duplicate of that. Excuse me. Put those over there so we have them. Okay, now with those selected, again, 200 steps in the blend. And the normal direct blend... So you can see what that looks like. It's like that. Of course, we can change that. Yeah, I think I've mentioned this in the past, but if you want to see what your your tool is doing for you, go to the extremes, and then you can always come back and and uh, adjust. Now I have link acceleration selected. And this is acceleration. When it says link, it means I'm linking the object and the color. So if we take that away, now I can adjust these separately. And now hit apply. And you can see the difference. Okay. All right, so I've got way too many there. I'm hitting Control Z. See, whoops, there we go. One too many. That's okay. Okay, so in order for me to to get clockwise blend, the first thing we need to do is do a direct blend. So, so make sure that's selected. Hit your apply. Now, with that applied, we'll go to the second, which is clockwise blend. Now we can hit apply, and it goes to the color wheel and changes things. Again, we can come back here, make some wild changes. Okay, now then the third, better back up some so you can see this. So the first time, the first one we do is color blend, direct blend, apply that. Now we'll go to the third, which is counterclockwise blend, and that is on the color wheel or color spectrum, as they call it. 
So with that clicked, mind you we've already done one, we did the direct blend. Now we're going to do this counterclockwise and that's totally different. Totally different because it's going in reverse order of the last one. So we'll duplicate that. Come back to here just so you can have a so you can have a reference. Come back here and see the difference. Duplicate that. Come over. direct. Alright, and that has changed. So, there's a few different uh, things for you to look at in the blend. So, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.